Hi everyone and welcome to my unboxing video of Blue Reflection Premium Box or originally I meant to get the Premium Box only but because I was a little bit late at the time I was ordering this it was sold out pretty much everywhere by itself so I ended up getting it with Famitsu DX Pack so the Famitsu DX Pack is F10 exclusive edition that comes with a couple extra items and at the F10 there was also canvas art set that comes with these items and also little painting canvas and some sort of illustration artwork that you can put on that canvas but because I originally meant to get just the premium box I decided to go with the cheaper one of the Epton exclusive editions. Um, most common item on this Famitsu DX pack is this cloth tapestry and so far I have seen a couple different sizes of these. This one is the more common and also the larger one. I have seen also smaller ones, so it's just a cloth tapestry that you can hang on your wall with illustration artwork from the game. And I really love this. The material is really high quality, and yeah, most of the time, also the artwork is really cute. And originally, I stopped buying this because I didn't have any more space on the walls for these. Um, second item here is file folders. I believe there's four of these with mainly characters from the game. So, usual clear file folders. With the artwork of characters from the game and one kind of special fun oh. and the last item is book cover that you can Put on your books so you can have a blue reflection themed covers for your books. Quite a small one. Um, so that's all the family to DX pack, DX pack items. Let's get to the actual premium box. Um, the game itself is some sort of RPG developed by Gust and published by Koi Tecmo. And it teams around magical girls, so the characters are usual school students that turn at some point into magical girls to save the world, I assume. 
and there's the content list but let's open this and check the content more closely really liking the artwork on all of these really cute okay this is kind of tight Seems to have quite a lot of content, so let's put these to the side. Game itself, of course. Soundtrack, quite heavy. I believe there's actually three CDs, so Okay, it says discrete three, so not just a sample for sure. And poster, I believe, actual cloth poster, not just a paper one, and some coach for different sides and also outfit DLC themed on other cast games and school calendar What are these? Oh, it's some sort of book. <laughs> Tummy. And very little cards. Few of them. And that's all. Where do we start? Quite a lot of items here. Let's start with the poster really nice quality cloud here feels really nice How do I show this? Nothing on the back side as usual for these cloth posters. Let's check these.
kind of glossy material. Legal pictures of, I assume, the main characters. Really cute. Um, let's check the calendar next. How does this open? Okay, so do you fold it like that? Oh, this is cute. Never had a calendar like this. And it's at oh <laughs> missed other sides. Let's check those as well when we go back. Didn't pay any attention to the monster, so didn't realize they are two sided. Makes sense. And let's then go through the booklet. <laughs> Let me take this away easier. Go through it. Go through it like this. So, Blue Reflection Art Collection. Quite small, but still. Really cute. A lot of same visuals as on the other items here. Nothing wrong with that. At least in my opinion. To put it all in the book here. Short intro in introductions of characters also with voice actors and such as I have said many times already I'm really loving the illustration artworks here, so I hope the game also 
features, nice artwork. And there's also a coast, coast school, some sort of sort novel here to enjoy translating of this. Another one. I'm surprised by this. Really like to have something to train my Japanese on. So even the even though the booklet is quite small, I really liked it. A lot of cute artwork and also the novels at the end. Seems really nice. And then there's the official soundtrack. Really rare these days to have such a huge soundtrack considering that there's multiple discs here so disc one two and three let me put that on right way also And also a little booklet here. Let's go through that also. Track list opening ending sign director comment and credits. So yeah, there's 26 tracks on first disc, 23 on second, and 15 on last one. A lot of music there. So lyrics of the opening and ending themes. some commentary on the sound director director nice to have a little booklet for the soundtrack also Let's finish with the Axel game box. Why these are always so tightly? Like you can wrap the one side off, but you can just slide this out. You have to cut it out to get it open. Oh, and now I hit the camera 
Sorry about that. Had the cutter and right next to the tripod of the camera person. Ended up shaking the camera. So here's the game box. Disk. Very little manual and more codes. What I can show of this? Some sort of theme and custom into the game. Another my game city code and very little manual, not much there, but anyway. So that's everything of the Blue Reflection premium box. As I've said a lot of here, I really like the edition love the <laughs> this premium box a lot of really nice and cute content and also on the Famitsu DX back there at the start so really glad that I ended up getting this even though I was a little worried because the premium box by itself was sold out pretty much everywhere at the time I was trying to find this but anyway I guess that's everything so thanks for watching and bye